Hello dear friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Today I will be telling you all about the importance of Geotechnical Engineering, necessity of subsoil investigation at the beginning of any new civil engineering project, what should subsurface sub Geotechnical Investigation include, the scope to be covered, reasons explained. Now, what is Geotechnical Engineering? Geotechnical Engineering is a sub-branch of civil engineering often referred to as soil engineering or ground engineering. It deals with soil, rock and underground water and their relation to design, construction and operation of engineering projects. Design means recommending foundations for the structures where you have done the geotechnical investigation job. During construction, you have to watch how these foundations are behaving and during operation means after the building has been constructed, you have to check about the behavior of the foundations, whether they are up to the mark and they would serve its purpose for the total time period the building has been built or any other structure has been built upon. Geotechnical engineering is related to engineering geology and geotechnics. Geotechnical explains and suggests use of technically proven scientific methods to plan and build structures in soils and rocks. Geotechnical engineering is actually a study of the behavior of soils under the influence of loading forces, that is, dead load, live load, seismic earthquake loads, wind pressure, snow loads, etc., and soil water interactions. So, this knowledge therefore is applied to the design of foundations of different and all kinds of structures, made with buildings, bridges, overhead tanks, railway electrification lines, transmission line towers, telecommunication mobile towers, underground or semi sunsums port over bridges, silos, industrial structures and many more which are usually used and utilized by us human beings. As the geotechnical engineering is very important for any construction occurring at or below the ground. That is why the importance of geotechnical engineering. Engineering geology and geotechnics. So, what I mean to say is geotechnical engineering is actually a part of civil engineer but he need to understand the geology aspects as well. While a geologist who is well versed with engineering, who is well versed with geology, must know about a little bit about the engineering, that is the applications of foundation engineering, etc., for the buildings. So, engineering geology is actually the application of geological information to aid in design of suitable foundations capable to withstand sustain all probable loads to which said structures might cater to during its lifetime. It comes into play while building and designing structures for mountainous, hilly and rocky terrains. That is, when you have to build structures in any hilly terrain, the role of civil engineer, a geotechnical engineer and a geologist, the combination of their roles is very necessary to be applied upon for those very structures to be built. Geotechnics is concerned with the study and modification of soil and rocks. That is, after any structure has been built upon, the behavior of soil and rocks beneath the foundations changes. They may change or some weathering actions may occur beneath the rocky foundations and the rearrangement of soil particles may occur in soils. That is why this sentence has been said here. Foundation engineering, excavations, backfilling, supporting ground structures, underground structures, dams, natural or artificial fields, roads, airports, subgrades for flexible and rigid pavements. Flexible pavements are bituminous roads, rigid pavements are concrete pavements, usually built in for air strips. And as well, nowadays, these rigid pavements are being constructed in highways, also in uh, some uh, arterial roads, internal roads, and many other places where there is a problem of what you call the pani ane ki vese roads jahan disturb ho sakti hai that is the to in order to counter the bad effects of water seeping in on the roads and destroying the roads there the rigid pavements are very useful and slope stability assessments are examples of geotechnical engineering applications in practice now the necessity of subsoil investigation in any new civil engineering project reasons and issues to be addressed. Number one, to assess whether the soil or rock beneath the proposed structure can safely support it in reference to its bearing capacity calculated from shear criteria 
and allowable to all level settlement that is the building must adhere to the tolerable settlement limits so as to serve its lifetime <coughs> wrong water table if it changes that is after a post monsoon the your ground water table may change that is how will it impact the structure of the project site in reference to post monsoon water table that is the number point two Point three for studying the impact of any excavations or backfilling on the foundations. Point four, recommending different kind of foundations for different structures based on soil stratigraphy present at that very particular site. That is, if you have too many structures to come up over a site, that is a commercial structure, a building, or a residential building, or a multi-story building, or over a tank, or a stadium, or a park, you have to recommend. Respective foundations for respective structures based on the soil investigation being done there at the site. Point five: to study the stability of natural proposed or source as the case may be. If they are not stable, then a geotechnical engineer has to find the ways to stabilize them. Designing detailing was it requires suggesting its type and kind based on soil strata present at the site and the requisition of the concerned project. That is, you decide the kind of the detailing was. To be built at that very particular site, whether it is a counterpart detailing wall or any other. This is point six. Now point seven. Assessing the responsiveness, stability, and safety of foundations towards any potential earthquake and seismic activity. Whenever you build any structure, they have to be safe for any earthquake that may come over its lifetime. That is, they must be ductile enough. To face these earthquakes without any major losses occurring there. Point eight is the doing the liquefaction analysis of the site. Point nine is assess ground contamination if any. There are possible health safety hazards. If so, then devising methods to rectify. That is, we usually check carbonates by carbonates to add sulfur and pH value of the available soil out there. And if you find these values to be above the safe permissible limits, then you have to Propose remedial measures in order to counteract these harmful effects of the harmful salts present in the soil. Now, what your course says in the standard code IS 1892-2021 that there are five stages of subsurface and geotechnical investigation. Number one is site reconnaissance, where you do a general topography survey and Study your surroundings. What is actually there? Whether any transmission line tower is passing out there, whether there's a well out there, or whatsoever there you have in the vicinity or in the area where you have to build the structure of the site. Preliminary investigation. This comprises of ascertaining the subsoil profile, the soil type, and groundwater table. Detailed investigation. In addition to subsoil stratum profile, you have to record field. SPT values and values that is standard pressure and cost values as per your coral provisions, identifying the soil type and defining its properties, including preparation of all relevant in situ laboratory test results and harmful soil samples. Construction stage investigation, what do you mean by this? This is required if you find any soil conditions which do not match with your initial subsoil investigation being done at the site then you have to you may decide in favor that you see party se kaam kar rahe the party which has done originally your soil, soil investigation work or you can take the help of any other soil investigation agency post construction stage investigations this is done for studying the behavior of soils for strengthening of soil structures and foundations If required, and maybe for any other site-related engineering reasons, which you may encounter during the construction activity of the concerned structure. Now, important points: geotechnical issues may be simple if they are simple; they are easy to resolve, and one can find a relevant solution easily for the site. If these geotechnical issues are complex, that is, for difficult sites, need extensive exploration, testing, and analysis. Now. Why the geotechnical investigation is very necessary? The geotechnical concerns actually affect both the technical and economical feasibility, economic feasibility of the project site. 
therefore you have to get your join in the geotechnical university you should learn very seriously as such in the best interest of the project you that is the geotechnical institution you see along with the client the architect and the structural designer concerned must get an extensive geotechnical investigation done at the very start of it so as to be able to adopt most cost effective and safe foundation design solutions for your proposed structures in a nutshell geotechnical engineers are and must work as part and parcel of the team of professionals comprising civil civil engineers site engineers architects structural engineers and all other concerned in a most productive way right from the start of the project during its execution and till the end of it now what is actually a extensive geotechnical investigation which need be done at the site governing factors are actually the kind of the structure to be built that is the structure may be a single or double story building it can be a lightly heavily loaded structure it can be a four five story building multi story building or a tall building if it is a bridge you have to consider for the span length number of spans and carry the width and if the there is these are linear structures like roads railways embankments water supply pipelines sewer lines boundary walls transmission lines railway electrification lines etc and on the basis of the geological terrain that is the area where you are going to investigate for these very structures it may be a alluvial strata it may be soil it may be a combination of soil and rock it may be a rocky terrain then the structure as regards to the kind of tentative anticipated foundation and all these very factors when cumulatively ascertained they help in deciding on the location of the borehole to be explored the number of borehole to be explored and the depth of borehole to be explored on the basis of the area and the length to be covered by these upcoming structures these respective structures which are here just discussed with you all about now i am referring to two or three major projects worldwide one is hoover dam the concrete arch type gravity dam another is chenab bridge and engineering marvel just completed in india where you can imagine the foundations yourself ki how extensive geotechnical investigation would have helped the execution of these very important infrastructural projects now this is a burj khalifa dubai Foundations and design process to be imagined by you all with the kind of effort required to execute such a large scale project. The height of this tower is around 830 meters. When a piled raft foundation was given there after extensive geotechnical investigation work, and even the piles were tested. The piles were of the order of greater than 40 meters below the ground level, and this building was designed for a wind speed of 240 kilometers per hour. That is this. brings to core the importance of good geotechnical investigation being required to be done for infrastructure projects of great importance <clears throat> now at last i have two or three more slides to come over here just to emphasize the need by subsurface and geotechnical investigation is required it is required for planning and design of foundations for buildings and any other or other all other kind of structures for habitation or any other purposes used by us human beings industrial structures and all kind of infrastructure projects like roads railways airports bridges sea ports waterways canals dams barrages aqueducts cross regulators etc and structures which we can think of constructing for our usage <coughs> now at last 10 more points to discuss with you all about what should subsurface geotechnical investigation include the scope to be number 1 geology of the site including studying history of seismicity of the area presence of surface in the section number 2 sequence and extent of various soil layers and rock strata being present there at the site if any in the region which is likely to be influenced due to proposed constructions for the respective structures to be built upon there 
0.3 nature of each stratum as well as its physical chemical and engineering properties 0.4 suitability of the existing stratum to support the respective structures foundation 0.5 location and variation of groundwater table across the site seasonal fluctuation and, and chemical composition of it that is whether there are any harmful salt being present in the water which may affect the concrete etc during its lifetime and if we find these harmful chemicals being presented in the water you have to accordingly use the concrete so that it can counteract these chemicals present in the water table point six requirement if any of ground improvement treatment of existing soil for proposed construction point seven substrata response to dynamic loading as well as environmental changes if any point eight suitability of existing or or soil as backfill material point nine determining seepage at the site requirement of deep watering if any basement or underground structures is to be built there and or vertical supports for deep excavations etc required to be done there so that you can easily construct your underground or below ground structures without affecting any of the existing surrounding structures point 10 deciding and finally recommending the requisite foundations for the proposed upcoming structure at the site based on investigation test hypothesis so dear friends this video of mine is totally focused on describing about the importance of geotechnical investigation the scope to be covered by them and it being an essential part whenever any new project is to come over here at any place in the world namaskar and thank you